Hey guys, uh, Rami here with your third stimulus check update and stimulus package update for Thursday, March 25th. I understand your frustration if you didn't receive your stimulus check money yet, especially if you're on Social Security, SSI, and SSDI. But we have positive news on that that I'll cover in a minute. First, let me say that the second batch of $1,400 stimulus payments has been sent out, which brings the total number of checks issued so far to about 127 million for a total of about 325 billion dollars according to the treasury department irs and the bureau of the fiscal service this new batch included about 37 million direct payments totaling almost 83 billion dollars about 17 million of those payments were via direct deposit which should have been deposited on the 24th in addition to that 15 million paper checks were sent as part of the second batch plus 5 million prepaid debit cards those paper checks and debit cards also started to go out on March 19th and will continue to be sent in the coming weeks. Now, as far as stimulus checks for Social Security, SSI, and SSDI beneficiaries, lawmakers are receiving a ton of complaints and they took action. So here is uh, the update. Let's take a look at together. So the Committee on uh, Ways and Means uh, from the House of Representatives, they sent a letter to the IRS Commissioner and the Social Security Administration Commissioner. They said, as chairs of the committee and subcommittees with jurisdiction over the Internal Revenue Service, the IRS, and the Social Security Administration, we write to express our concern about the reported delays in sending automatic stimulus payments to Social Security and Supplemental Security Income beneficiaries, along with Railroad Retirement Board and Veterans Affairs beneficiaries. Over the past year, the IRS and SSA have worked closely together to ensure that the previous rounds of direct payments were paid promptly and automatically to these beneficiaries, even if they do not normally have a tax return filing requirement because they fall below the income threshold for filing. These efforts have ensured the immediate seamless delivery of stimulus payments to millions of retirees and people with disabilities. Now, I know the first one, the $1,200 uh, check, I know you guys waited at least a month if not more uh, maybe two months to get your payment and for the six hundred dollars i think i saw some people saying in the comments that the six hundred dollar one went out to the people on social security ssi and ssdi much faster like within a few days but again now for the fourteen hundred dollar stimulus checks it looks like it's taking longer than it should so now the chairs of the committee of the house and ways means committee are addressing this and trying to see what's going on and they continue to say since the American Rescue Plan Act was enacted on March 11th, the IRS has already delivered about 90 million payments. However, we were alarmed to learn recently that most Social Security, SSI, RRB, and VA beneficiaries who are not required to file a tax return have not yet received their payments and that the IRS is unable to provide an expected timeline for these payments. And that's the other thing. I mean, it's the same people from last time. I mean, most likely, you know, if you're on Social Security or SSI and SSDI and, uh, you know, you don't file taxes and you don't have to be above a certain income or anything like that and they have your information from last time, just push a button and send those direct deposits to the direct express cards or the mail checks to these people. I mean... I don't know what's taking them too long this time. It is frustrating and at least I'm happy. I'm glad that someone is taking action and looking for answers and hopefully we get those answers by tomorrow and we'll see why uh, I said tomorrow. The American Rescue Plan was intended to provide much needed economic stimulus and assistance to people across the country immediately and we are counting on your agencies to ensure that beneficiaries are not left behind in the seamless delivery of those payments. Some of our most vulnerable seniors and persons with disabilities, including veterans who served our country with honor, are unable to pay for basic necessities while they wait for their overdue payments. Such a sad situation. I mean, people on Social Security and VA, why don't they just put them in the front of the line? They should put them in the beginning and send their checks first. And if not first, at least send it with the first batch. I mean, they sent 90 million payments and now it's up to 127 million payments. People on Social Security and the seniors and on disability and VA, they should receive their money now. So they're saying that we urge the IRS and SSA to move with all deliberate speed to quickly issue these payments to Social Security and SSI beneficiaries. And we urge the IRS to work with the RRB and VA to pay those beneficiaries expeditiously as well. We ask that you update us on your timeline for these payments by Friday, March 26th. Thank you for your immediate attention to this urgent matter. So yeah, I really hope they finally uh, do something and they push these agencies, the IRS and the Social Security Administration, to give them a timeline and also kind of give a reason why is it delayed. You have the information, you have the people's bank accounts, you have their direct express cards accounts, you have their addresses. 
just send the payments like you did the first round. There's no reason for delay. And I hope we hear some good news tomorrow and we get some answers. And hopefully the IRS and the SSA will finally release an estimate date on when to expect the payment for those of you on Social Security, SSI and SSDI and VA and railroad uh, retirees. So that's all I have for you in today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate every single one of you. Please hit the like button on the video. Share this video with your friends and family and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and click the notifications bell to be notified whenever I publish new videos and new content for you. Also, get your free stock from Robinhood just by opening an account using the link below and make sure to check the link for the Yara savings account. It's a savings account that is FDIC insured but gives you interest with a lottery system. If you use the link below, you'll get 100 tickets when you deposit as little as $25 for a chance to win up to $10 million. Then you'll get a weekly ticket for every $25 that you deposit. I think this is the future of banking as it encourages savings to earn more chances at winning a large prize. Finally, don't forget to get your free stocks from Webull. Two free stocks from Webull when you deposit only $100, which is just like cash. You can take it out anytime you feel like it. All the links are in the description below. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you in the next video.